Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. This week we mostly discussed fish oils. In particular, there's this really cool, unique study that was done on the effects of fish oil supplementation and muscle strength. And to the best of my knowledge, is the first study that was ever done in that regard. And they came out with some really interesting results that were published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, which is really the, the top tier journal for nutritional medicine in, uh, in the US. And um, what they found is that uh, elderly women who were supplementing with fish oils um, uh, showed much greater uh, strength at the end of the trial period. So what they did is they, they, they broke the women up into three different groups. One group did not consume any fish oil and all they did is the strength, uh, the strength training routine. And then there's another group that took uh, the fish oil for 90 days and there's another group that took the fish oil for 150 days. And in the 90 and 150 day uh, fish oil supplementation group, they both showed uh, significant increases in uh, muscle strength. So that was really cool. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more studies uh, that will spin off of this one. And so when those studies are published, we'll, uh, we'll get you that uh, information. Um, and, and then we also discussed some other really important benefits for fish oil. First of all, fish oil is what we call an essential fatty acid, or at least the, the omega-3 uh, portion of it is an essential fatty acid. And when we see the word essential with nutrition, uh, like essential vitamins or essential amino acids, what that means is, are, is that we are, the body doesn't make it, and we have to get it from an outside source, from foods or from supplementation. So. Essential fatty acids aren't just, you know, just extra nutrients that, you know, we can take if we want to. We must get in essential fatty acids as part of our, our daily routine. Um, so it's very important for uh, really uh, all the systems in the body. But in particular, it's been shown to be really good for the brain. Um, we talked about, uh, you know, some, some things about the brain uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, different nutrients that we can do for the brain. We talked at that time about folic acid and B12 and so forth. But, um, but also fish oils. Uh, there's two main components of fish oils. EPA, which is icosapentaenoic acid, and then there's DHA, which is docahexaenoic acid. And DHA, the brain has a lot of DHA in it. And so what that means is the brain requires a lot of DHA for proper function. And so taking fish oils will help to be good fuel, good food for the brain. Uh, also, fish oils is very good for the cardiovascular system. There's been study after study about the positive benefits of fish oil and uh, heart function and circulatory function. It's good for the hair, the skin. Um, it's good for the digestive system. It's good for the immune system. And it's really in important for uh, our body's anti-inflammatory system. A lot of people who have a lot of chronic pain and a lot of itises like colitis, tinnitus, um, you know, conjunctivitis and tendonitis, all these different itises mean different tissues being inflamed. And people with a lot of pain and inflammation oftentimes just don't have enough of the anti-inflammatory building blocks. And the main building blocks are, uh, uh, is EPA from fish oils and other oils but really, fish oils is probably our, our best source. Flaxseed oil, to some extent, uh, could also be um, a good supplement for omega-3. But fish oils, by far, uh, has the highest concentration and the easiest for the body to convert the omega-3 from fish oil into the active nutrients that the body needs for uh, anti-inflammation. So there's just a few tips there about uh, the, the important benefits of fish oil. Um, uh, so, so go to our website and uh, uh, there's a few that, that we've got a lot of different fish oils to choose from, uh, Ultimate Omega.